Hi guys, it's Jennifer Smith and I am broadcasting live from my bedroom. <laughs> and yes, it is a very intimate place to be, a very private place to be. In fact, when I told my husband I was doing a broadcast from the bedroom, I think he rolled his eyes on the inside of his head or in his mind. Like, really, he's a very private person. I think it's important though to talk about romance in the bedroom and how to create that. And I wanted to share some tips with you today. So our bedrooms are a place where we have make lots of memories. Maybe some are good, some are bad, hopefully mostly good. It's where babies are made, unless you're over age 50, like me and my husband. Um, but we've, we've done our duty. We have six amazing children and nine grandchildren and one more on the way. So hurrah for that. But I wanted to share with you today some, some of my favorite things about my bedroom and how to bring a little more romance into your own bedroom. So first of all, I think it's very important that we make our bedroom a, a retreat and a beautiful, calming retreat. So, so the first thing, well actually before I get to the environment, let's talk about outside of the bedroom, okay? So some of the favorite things that I love to do to help create that romance is, first of all, maybe write notes. Tuck them in places where your spouse will find them. That's kind of the old fashioned way, right? Is to actually do a handwritten note. Um, but words of appreciation or thank you or what you think is so amazing about your spouse, you can put in these fun little notes. Um, texting is awesome. So most of us have some kind of a phone nowadays, right? And uh, even on a flip phone, it's a little harder, but you can send a text. My husband says that's actually a way that he can get excited about coming into our bedroom is when I send him little texts, whether they're soft and sweet or a little bit sexy. And you can use emojis, which are really fun in your texts. Um, also, there's something called Bitmoji. And if I remember, I'm going to put one of one of mine in this post um, where you actually go in and you create this cartoon character that looks like you. And then there's all these really fun choices of messages and things that you can send to your spouse and, and friends as well. And then also just before coming in the bedroom, take time to serve each other. You know, whatever your love language is, it just always feels good if you feel like your spouse supported you and helped you in some way. Um, like my husband's awesome to help clean with the kitchen and maybe I'll take a turn taking the garbage out. Just those little things really matter as far as serving our spouse. And then the other thing is verbal compliments um, are pretty huge. I think that one of my love languages is words of affirmation. So I love to receive those verbal type compliments. And then the other thing is that physical touch. Um, give the hugs, give the kisses, even outside of the bedroom. And for some spouses, that's more critical because it is their love language and they need that touch. They really crave that touch. So it's huge if we do that outside the bedroom. Okay, so let's come into the bedroom. And first of all, I want to talk about our environment, okay? So the first thing we need to remember is have your room be somewhat tidy. I remember going to a, a grocery store and I actually, I, I love to shop at Smith's, maybe because my name is Smith, I don't know. <laughs> but, but I was out of town one time staying with my brother and I went to the grocery store to get a few things and there was like garbage all over in the parking lot. And I thought, wow, who's taking care of this place? Do people not care? Because where I live, when I go to the grocery store, they do a pretty darn good job. Parking lot's clean, the people are friendly, and it just really makes a difference that we don't have like piles of junk in our bedroom or clothes um, or garbage or whatever. I mean, yeah, I have, you can probably see my selfie stick over here on my little, my little jewelry chest or whatever. But I'm just talking about, you know, having it clean and feel inviting and comfortable. The next thing with our environment is pictures. You can see behind me, and there again, my husband's like, oh, don't share those. <laughs> I think they're awesome. We went and had a romantic photo session years ago. So we looked younger in the pictures too. Uh, we were not over 50 at the time. And that is really awesome to make it your special 
place just for the two of you. And I would recommend not having pictures of your children. Now, I'm gonna show you a picture. Um, this is like a beautiful picture that my daughter actually drew of my youngest boy. Cute, she put like little elf ears on him and little dandelion fluff. And I used to have this sitting over here on my dresser. And that is fine, but let's make this our special sacred place. And we love our children and we love our grandchildren and pictures of their cute little smiling faces. But if you want to create the romantic environment, let those pictures be in the family room or in their bedrooms elsewhere, not in our bedroom. So I removed that beautiful picture from my room to somewhere. So the next thing is, and we joke about it, is pillows. So I have, let's see, I have seven pillows on my bed. <laughs> and my husband gives me a hard time because, you know, if he has to make the bed, it's like, oh my gosh, you gotta get all those pillows on there. And I have a certain spot for each pillow. But look at this one. Love you to the moon and back. Speaking of children, there was a, a child's book probably written, Love You to the Moon and Back. And even though my husband kind of complains, those pillows, he'll come in here to take a nap, and he'll actually grab this one because it's so soft and comfy. And that's the one that goes under his head when he comes to take a nap. So pillows are awesome. I think us women just really, really love that for the coziness and the comfort and, and all those pillows, right? So the other thing is candles. And you can see I have some right here. These are really fun because we have a remote. We can change the colors of the candles. They're safe, right? So if you fall asleep, they're not going to burn your house down. But I do have the burn your house down candle. Now, I like this one because it has a wide wick and it crackles. And my husband and I like camping. I'm oh, sorry if I just slapped the microphone. <laughs> my husband and I love camping. And so our crackle candle is so fun and you get that little kind of flickery glowy light in the room and this one actually smells like campfire so this is one of our favorites and then lights you know so candles can be part of the light but if you see behind me above our pictures hopefully you can see that my husband had some extra money at the gardening store before christmas and he came home and he put these red lights around our room to surprise me and it was a surprise and it looks awesome so if I remember I'm gonna put a picture in below this video showing you how cool it looks when all the lights are off and such a fun way to create a more romantic environment in your bedroom right so what else a couple other things so one time I made so the other day I made this chip dip because sometimes my husband gets this craving for potato chip dip that has the dill pickles in it, you know, and so I made this yummy sour cream cream cheese, but I put a little extra, well, I didn't put extra garlic. I followed the recipe. <laughs> it was too much garlic. And so one time we're in the bedroom getting all cozy, ready for bed. And my husband was like, oh, do you have some of those strong mints? <laughs> so I have these in my bed stand. Um, really good when we think about our breath. And if you want it to be romantic, let's try and kill the garlic smell, right? And if you have favorite colognes or perfumes and stuff, smell is really huge to help create the romance. Um, and then music. This is like an old 80s CD, so that tells you how old we are. But now we have our playlists on Amazon and stuff. Um, but music obviously sets the mood. So one last thing that I, don't, I forgot, my lotion that has lavender in it. Um, I'll put this on at night and sometimes my husband will just grab my hands and ah, smells so good, right? So that's another thing with scent. So I'm just going to share one fun thing that we've started doing, um, a tradition of romance in the bedroom. And we haven't done it very much, hope to do it more, but you can see this nice little lap tray behind me. We got a couple of these for Christmas. So when you want to have breakfast in bed, lock your door right. Make sure the kids are fed or watching a movie or playing a video game, whatever. Like, make sure they're taken care of and enjoy your breakfast in bed. Now, uh, the little twist that makes it really, really fun is to feed each other. <laughs> and what an experience. 
um, try not to make a mess in your bed, right? So like actually I have this um, little Hickory Farms snack basket, which is really convenient. Um, we're gonna use this one of these mornings. Just perfect for two of us to have some little cheese and sausage and crackers and have a drink with that. Um, I, we also love like the yogurt parfaits with, you know, we get raspberries and blackberries fresh from our garden and put them in the freezer and put a little granola in there. So something simple, easy, like you don't have to spend all your time in the kitchen preparing this huge fancy breakfast. Like, no, get something simple and easy that you both enjoy and feed each other breakfast in bed. So that's just a fun thing that we love to do to bring fun as well as the romance into our bedroom. So I would love to hear your ideas. What do you do to bring more romance into your bedroom? Or what do you do outside of the bedroom that helps create more romance when you come to your sacred haven together? It's just, there again, one of my favorite places to be and I encourage you to think about what are some things that you might be able to improve, whether it's bringing things in to create the environment or tidying up a little bit. So share your ideas below. Also, if, if your spouse might need some hints, right, <laughs> or tips, share this video with your spouse and maybe he or she can get some fun ideas from it and then talk with your spouse and create some ideas. So, you know, um, I'm starting to feel really hot, guys with this scarf and everything so my uh, mother who's almost 88 she lives in our home right now we were empty nesters for six months and then we were able to privilege to have her move in with us but we have to keep the heat turned up so if you can see my feet i have bare toes right now and i'm getting kind of hot you know so i think i'm going to just go slip into something a little more comfortable. I wish you the best in creating that romantic environment in your bedroom. So I will catch you all later. Bye.